my name is Lindsay from Paper Hearts Planner Co and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to use the mid-year 2025 to 2026 everything planner from Paper Hearts Planner Co. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to use it in GoodNotes but you can use it in any PDF annotation app of your choice whether that be GoodNotes or Notebook or if you're on an Android device maybe you're using Pinley it's going to work the same no matter what app you're using. So if you're ready let's dive into the planner and let me show you how to use it. Okay, let's dive into the planner. So this planner comes in five different color options and it also comes in landscape and portrait. This video is gonna talk about the landscape option, but I have another tutorial that shows you how to use the portrait. In this tutorial, I wanna show you the um, different daily options that this planner offers. And then it also comes in Monday start, Sunday start, and Sunday month, Monday week start. So let's dive in. This is the pink version. And whenever you open the planner, it's gonna come to this cover. Now there's no links on the cover. So you're just gonna swipe to go to the next page. And then you're gonna come to our quick links page and just a thank you note for me. And there's a bunch of different links here that take you to like our shop, our tutorials, to the planner clubs where you can get free planners or to the sticker club where you can get our sticker for free um, and then it has all of the tabs hyperlinked here as well so with these tabs it's going to take you to a bunch of different areas of the planner but we'll dive into that next so if you swipe again it's going to show you the hyperlink locations now i'm going to go over this in this video um, but you can see it here as well if you ever need a quick refresher but there are a ton of hidden hyperlinks in this planner and then there's also customizable sections that you can use to add your own pages to this planner and customize it however you like now, if you're going to keep going, it's going to show you our Apple shortcuts and Google Calendar links. In this planner, there is an Apple shortcut that links to your Apple Calendar, your Google Calendar, and reminders. And it's going to go to the first of the month where you can add your own events to your Apple Calendar or your Google Calendar. There's also a Google link that's going to take you right to the um, Google Calendar if you are an Android user. And I'll show you how to use both of those as well. Then if you swipe, you're going to come again to our index. Now, this is our index page that has links to every single page of the planner. Here, you're going to find all of the different sections. We have our year at a glance, your budget, your cleaning, meal planning, fitness list, goals, habits, projects, notes, travel, trackers, ADHD pages, and journal index and your customized sections. Now, you can always get to this page by clicking on this asterisk right here at the top, this top tab here. So if you click on that, it's going to take you right there to that index. Now, if you want to go to any of the pages on this index, you can click on that page. So if, say, if you wanted to go to your mood tracker, you just click right here on that and it's going to take you to the mood tracker. And then to go back to the index, you can click right here on the index tab. Now, if you also want to go to just a certain section, say you just want to go to the cleaning section, you can click right here on cleaning and that's going to take you to the cleaning section where there's another index here that you can go to that page from there. So say you want to go to your seasonal cleaning list, you're going to tap right on that and it'll take you to the seasonal cleaning list. So that is how you can move around from the index to the certain sections of your planner. Now, there's also this little link right here. If you look up here in the corner, every extra section of the planner has a little icon um, that has to do with whatever section you are in. And if you click on this icon, it's going to take you back to that section's index. So say you are in your budgeting section. If you are on a certain page, you can click right up here on the little piggy bank and it's going to take you back to that index. Same with cleaning, meal planning, no matter what section you're in, it's going to have a little icon that's going to take you back to that section's index. Or you can get to any page from the main index of the planner. Now let's dive into the months. So if you click over here on the tabs, you can go to any of the months within the planner and it's going to take you to that calendar page. Now there's a lot of hyperlinks on this page. So if you want to go to a daily page, you're going to click right on the number. So say we want to go to July 6th, that is going to take us to July 6th of the daily pages. Now you have two different options to choose from when you purchase this planner. You can get a daily page that has two days, so one on each page, or you can choose a planner that has a daily page that takes up two page and there's only one um, day per spread. So that's the options that you get to choose from when you download this planner. You're going to get both of these options. So you get six total planners whenever you download the landscape version. So from the daily pages, if you want to go back to the calendar, you have two options. You can click back on the tab or you can click right up here on this calendar and it's going to take you back to the calendar page. 
Now on every page, your daily page, weekly page, um, or your monthly page, you're going to have this index up here that's going to have a G, a um, apple, and then from there you can engage your shortcuts. Now if you are wanting to use an apple shortcut, you have to install it beforehand. So you have to, um, you have to follow, let me go back. You have to follow these instructions here to enable your Apple shortcut. So if you want this, li this link to work, you have to enable that first and it only works on an Apple device. So when you click on this Apple, you're going to choose yes that you want to run the external link and a shortcut is going to engage. And then it's going to ask you if you want to add an event to your Apple calendar, your Google calendar, or set a reminder. When you click on that, it's going to pop up and it's going to bring your calendar up. You're going to give it a few seconds to work. And from here, you can add your event. Now it's going to default to the first day of the month, no matter what um, link you choose. So it's always going to be the first day of the month for whatever month you were on. And then you can click here and you can change the date to whatever day you want to choose from. And you can just add your event here. It's going to work the same um, for Google Calendar and the reminders. Now, if you are an Android user, you're just going to click on the G. And if you click yes, it's going to open your Apple Calendar. If you don't have the app on your device, it's going to open up in a web in a web browser. So that's how you use the shortcuts. Now, back to the monthly page. If you're going to want to go to um, the weekly pages from the monthly calendar, you're gonna do that with these dots right over here on the left side. Now, each month or each week comes with four weekly page options. So you have option number one is a vertical layout spread. Option number two is a half vertical layout. Option number three is like a horizontal, and so is option number four. And then on page five, you have a weekly meal plan for each week of the year. So from your calendar, you're gonna click right on either one of these dots, one, two, three, four, five, and it is gonna take you to that week. Now, what a lot of people do is once they choose one that they know they wanna use, they either put like a little sticker over that dot um, or a star so they know which one they're using every week. So if you click on that dot, it's gonna take you to that weekly page. Now, if you wanna to go to any daily page from your weeklies, you're just gonna click on that day from this little mini calendar here. So if you wanna to go to July 10th, just click on that, and it's gonna take you to July 10th. Now on daily page, you can do the same thing. So you wanna to go to July 27th, you're just gonna click on that, and it's gonna take you to July 27th. Now, if you wanna to go to that weekly meal plan from any week or day of the um, of your month, you're just gonna click right up here on this little spoon and fork and plate, and it's gonna take you to your weekly meal plan here, where you can put all of your um, all of your meal plans here. Now, if you wanna go back to your weekly page, you're just gonna click on whichever one you're using, one, two, three, or four, and that will take you back to that weekly page. Now, say you're using more than one weekly page, you can navigate through them right here by clicking on the one, two, three, or four. So that's how you use all the hidden hyperlinks on the monthly pages and on the weekly pages and on the daily pages. Now, over here on the left, there are a bunch of different icons. These icons take you to different sections of the planner. Now, it's not all of the sections of the planner. You can find all of them on the index, but these are your most used ones, and there are also some quick links here. So if you click right here on this calendar right here, it's going to take you to the year at a glance. And in the year at a glance, you have a 2025 calendar a 2026 calendar and then you have some different options here for some important dates birthdays anniversaries and yearly to do's and then all um, of your different important things you might want to remember at a glance this little uh, to-do list right here, this is gonna take you to the quick to-do list. This is just a place where you can jot down your quick to-do list um, all in one place and it's quick and easy to get to. Now this isn't the whole to-do list section, there are multiple to-do list pages and you can find that there in the to-do list index, but this is just gonna take you to a quick to-do list. Same with this little pencil here, that's gonna take you to a quick notes page. Now again, this is not all of the notes pages included. If you click right here, on this little icon and it'll take you to all of the notes pages that are included in this planner that you have to choose from. This one is just what we like to call a quick notes. Now this little lock right here, that is your password. So if you wanna keep your passwords in your planner, you can get through them easily there. 
this is your budget section. Now the budget section is a little bit different. It has a little bit different hyperlinks than any other section in the planner. So if you go to your month here, you have first your bill calendar. So this is a calendar that you can use to track whenever you, um, whenever you want to put your bills down or wherever, whenever your bills are due. These are undated, but it is the same format and template as your calendar. So if you would like to date it, what you can easily do is just take your lasso and lasso like this calendar. Let me do that again because I didn't do a very good job of it. You can lasso it, take a screenshot, and then you can save this screenshot, copy it, and then you can go back to your budget and you can paste that right over top here. Get it correct. I'm just doing this quickly so you can see. And then you'll have your dates here. But they do come undated. So if you want to date it, you can do it by hand. You can take a screenshot. You have whatever option you want to do here. But this is where you can um, keep track of when your bills are due. Now up here you have some other options. You have monthly, bi-weekly, and weekly. These are your budget pages. So if you budget by month, you can go to the monthly budget option or you can go back and you can go to the weekly budget option, the bi-weekly, or you have a weekly one. So these are your different options and different like layouts of how you want to budget and you, the different templates that you can choose from. Now the bi-weekly and the weekly, it only has one page. So if you are using either one of these and you need more pages, all you need to do is duplicate that page. We didn't want to add too many pages to the planner and bog it down. So you can duplicate these pages. If you don't know how to duplicate, just go right up here to this plus button if you're in GoodNotes and you can duplicate current template and then you're gonna have two weekly pages here and then you can just circle or star however you want to mark what week you are on now back again with this little pig icon here that will take you back to the index and there it is in a little bit in a couple different places so um, on the bills page it's right here then on the budget page it's up in the corner it kind of moves around on these um, monthly budget sections um, but you can find it on each page and come back to that index. Now let's talk about the journal page next. So if you want to, oh, actually, let's not do that. Let's continue to go on through our tabs here. So for the rest of these tabs, these are ones that you um, might use often or a few times throughout the year. So the next option is your goals. So these are the different goal page options that you have here. There are a few different ones included. These are one of my favorite um, pages in the planner. They're so cute. And then next you have your trackers. This is a new addition to the 2025-26 mid-year planners. This section has never been in any of our planners before. So we're excited about this one. Um, this one has a ton of different trackers already included in here so pretty much anything that you want to track you can track right here in one place now this icon right here is for your travel so whenever you take trips throughout the year you can plan them right here this is your adhd planners pages now this planner can work for anyone. Um, I, I like to say everybody has a little bit of ADHD in them just because we live in a world that is so fast paced, it's really hard not to. So these ADHD templates will help you no matter if you're diagnosed with ADHD or not. There are a lot of really useful pages in here. So you have like a get it done um, page. You have this is like a, a big one where you can just, like it has no timeline. These are things you need to get done today, this weekend, a way to make a plan, your prior, your list of prioritizing things, um, your books and your podcasts, your playlist. You can track your mood here. This is another mood tracker if you just wanna keep track of it right in your ADHD section. Your screen time tracker, a blank tracker that you can use for whatever. Your therapy notes, wish list, if things you want to like wish for and buy in the future. And then you have some decluttering pages, your digital declutter, and then a actual home declutter for fall, winter, spring and summer and then that next page takes you into our journal so this link right here is right here this um, like book is your journal index now this journal index is going to take you to a specific page in the planner so each day of the year has a journal page 
So let's say that it is July 1st and you want to journal for that day. You're just going to click on the number one right here for July and it is going to take you to a blank page. Now down here in the corner, it has the date. So you can see that has July 1st right here. So this is your July 1st journal page. Now each one or each page or each day of the year has its own journal page. So if you want to go to a different page, it's going to take you and it's going to have the date right down here at the bottom. So you can journal whatever you want in your digital planner and you have a journal page for every single day of the year. And if you need more than one page, you can just duplicate that page. Now, the last section here is our custom sections. Now this custom sections, there are six of them and you get to use these however you want. In our shop, we have some bonus templates and um, that are PNG pages that you can add in here and you can um, create your own pages. You can use this as a notebook. You can use it as like a scrapbook or journal. You can use this however you want to use it. It can be absolutely anything. So what you're going to do here, let's say, um, what could we make this? Let's say we are planning back to school and you need to have like a list of things you need to do or something like that or now let's do work let's you say you want to have a work section you can put it right here like say you want to add um our work planning pages to this planner what you can do you're just going to put work right here for whatever section this is and then if you click on this that is going to take you to an index and each one of these pages there's 20 pages in each section each one is linked so whatever say that you want this to be like your work notes page number one to be work notes when you click on this if you write work work notes here and then when you click on it it's going to take you to page one dash one so this is section one page one and then you can put your work notes here or whatever you want this is just an example you can put whatever you want here and then you can always go back and find that here so pay, say you're on page 20 it's going to take you to page one dash 20 and then same say you're in section six it's going to be six dash 12. So all of these different set custom sections are hyperlinked, so you can make this whatever you want, and you don't have to swipe through each page to find whatever you've added in the planner. They've got the hyperlinks, so you can easily get to it. So that is everything that is included in the 2025-2026 mid-year planners and how you use it. If you guys have any questions, feel free to comment below and we will get back to you. And thank you guys so much for watching this tutorial.